How to Change Habits Hello, I'm Christopher, welcome to my channel. First of all leave your like and subscribe to my channel to continue receiving the videos automatically and for YouTube to understand that this content is useful to other people. So let's go. The habit change phase is challenging. People make some mistakes that prevent them from achieving results. To understand how habits are formed, it is important to seek information about how our body works. Do you know how the brain works when it comes to changing customs? Neuroplasticity is the brain's ability to adapt to changes through the nervous system. Allows the creation of synaptic connections. Neurons follow paths that can be remodeled through work involving experiences, thoughts, emotions, behaviors, personal needs, and the environment in which they are inserted. Making or breaking a habit involves a neuroplastic change in the brain. When a person desires something, it is because their plastic brain has become sensitive to the substance or experience it is used to. A habit is not formed and is not lost overnight. It happens inside a building, day by day. According to the study, a person can develop the habit of running every day in three weeks, but to learn a new language it takes more time. When we repeat a behavior over a long period of time, this circuit is fixed in the brain almost automatically. Want to understand how it works? A person who smokes, or an individual who cannot break the habit of having dessert after lunch, without realizing it, links these actions to habitual pleasures. Unwanted actions, but practiced repeatedly, become even more difficult to overcome when we have a high level of cortisol in the body, that is, with a high level of stress. The body seems to be asking for a quick release of tension, an immediate release that has been proven to work before. But how does your body assume to know what works? By your habits. Let's say a person has a habit of overeating to relieve stress. The body seems to assume that this is the only way out, do you know why? As time passes, our brain connects our actions more tightly. We have a context, the person arrived home after work, after a day of great pressure and rush. She looks into the refrigerator and automatically goes about her routine, eating fatty foods in large quantities. The reward comes with a great sense of relief, relaxation and momentary happiness. Is it because your body needed that food? No. The sensation comes from the habit formed in the brain of using the practice of eating wrong as a way to relieve stress and get relief. After all, that food triggers the reward center in the brain, it generates pleasure, but it doesn't solve the real problem. The more you repeat the behavior, the harder it will be to break the habit, especially in times of stress. Automatic actions happen without a conscious decision, they are habits. Mental shortcuts to repeat something we've done in the past that brings us rewards drive our lives. Did this content help you? Leave your comment here.